Hello everyone, today we're working on a 2007 Ford Mustang with a problem of the radiator cooling fan working erratically working sometimes, sometimes it doesn't work customer, com customer complaint um, trace the problem down to a faulty connection going into the cooling fan resistor the resistor is located on the back of the fan shroud below the expansion bottle, below the upper radiator hose and as I'll soon show you, you will see that the connector, this is a harness that plugs into the resistor. You can see the top right connector is burned. So the fan is pulling too many amps, drawing too much current, and it's burning the connector. So we're going to have to replace this pin. So this is a look on the inside of the resistor itself, and you can see the burnt connector there in the top left. So... One of the good things about with Mustang and Ford is they put four pins into this connector, but the fan only uses three. So the fourth pin is not used. It just has a little pigtail, which is that guy right there. So what we're going to do is relocate it from the bottom left and put it in the top right because the top right is one that's burnt. The bottom left is not used. So that worked out kind of cool. The first thing we're doing is using a plug connector tool to remove the retainer because we're going to try to remove the pins so the retainer comes out fairly easy use your pocket screwdriver the retainer is what holds all the pins in place to prevent the them from backing out so just remove the retainer put it to the side don't lose it because we're going to reinstall it here in a little bit next we're going to do now is find the retainer the clip that holds the pins in place and you just pry down on it ever so slightly not too hard because you're not trying to break it but you're going to pry down on it to release it and at the same time when you're prying down on it you're going to tug on the wire in the back of it in one fluid motion and it should come right out just like that put that to the side because we're going to reuse that one that we're going to put it in the top right which is what we're trying to remove right now but this one is going to be a little bit more difficult because of the condition that it's burned so it's burned some of the plastic it's burned some of the connector so it's a little bit more stubborn but it'll come out so you pry down on it so you're pulling and prying at the same time and it'll come right up so as you can see it's really toasted and it makes for a bad connection and not a reliable connection so we're going to clean that up a little bit <laughs> look in the back there make sure free and clear for our new pin double check our orientation make sure it got up is up and down is down it's matching all the others and then we're going to attempt to slide it in the back all the way forward until you hear it click there you go and then a tug on it give it a tug a couple times just to make sure that it doesn't physically come loose because you don't want to have a new problem so now i'm just making sure that the clip that holds it in place is there and then we're going to reinstall the retainer so there we go so we swap the pins out so there we go so that's good next up we're going to join these two wires here. So I just line them up. I get my wire cutters. And then I just cut them. Perfect. Next after this, I'm going to go ahead and get my wire strippers, Matco set, like this set here. And, um, attempt to remove the insulation from the wiring so there you go all right that'll work i then twist my strands of wire together make them firm so they're not fraying out too much that's the crimp connector that i'm going to use I hold it in my crimping tool first, slide it down over the wire, 
and then I make sure the wire is tucked all the way up in my connector and then I crimp it really tight make sure that I get a good connection we don't want any loose connections which will contribute to erratic operation I tug on it a couple times just to make sure that it won't physically come loose I'm going to repeat the process for the opposite end I hold it in my crimp pin tool then I slip my wire into it then I crimp it apologize I was out of frame for a little bit but I crimp it put it to the side I tug on the connection make sure it doesn't come out and then afterwards I'm gonna proceed to get my heat gun and start shrinking it because my connector is covered in heat shrink it's made in a heat shrink tube which I really like these connectors because I can heat shrink it to eliminate any form of moisture or air getting on my connection which will lead to corrosion high resistance low current which would all which would cause my fan to not operate properly so we don't want that so I just apply heat up and down walking around trying to roll the wire as best as I can so I can get the top side and the bottom side heated up and you can see the crimp connection the heat in heat shrink shrinking I like to pinch the ends off it's kind of hot so be careful I like to pinch the ends off just to make sure I get a really good seal so there you go that's as good as new as good as it's gonna get works out so reinstall it should be good to go thanks for watching